Okay, on to level one in my Let's Play of my own quest, Simple Quest. And although you don't know this, this is the second time I've recorded this because, like a moron, I forgot about the 10 minute time limit on my bandy cam and somewhere during my completion of the level, my time ran out. So you did not get the whole video. So you get to watch me do this. Well, for the first time, because you didn't get to see me do this last time, but I had to do it again, and I'm really frustrated with myself. Well, I didn't do too well the first time, so maybe you'll see a better version of it. A lot of the weapons in the first few um, few levels, well, first few dungeons, or um, yeah, the treasures are in the same levels. But that changes pretty quickly. It's only like the first two, three levels where everything's the same, and then it starts changing. But I figure people are used to having the boomerang and the arrow first, and they're very helpful tools in the game, so I decided to keep those early on. See, I'm already doing better than I did the first time. Aren't you proud of me? In case you didn't figure that out, I just got the compass. I was just standing on top of it when it came up. And there's nothing you get for clearing all the enemies in this room, but it just gets them the heck out of my way so I can go to this bomble wall without them my way because the traps are a pain in enough of a butt. Pain enough in the butt while wow, I cannot talk today. I'm a little tired. Work was exhausting. And pretty much all my uh, pushable blocks in the dungeons are push weight which means you know you have to kill all the enemies in the room before you can move them. Just adds to the challenge a bit. So we'll go get our friendly neighborhood bow for our friendly neighborhood arrow, which we'll buy after we exit this level. Um, and there's only one place in the whole game to get the arrow, at least the wooden arrow, otherwise you have to wait till level 8 I believe it is to get the silver arrow. And yes, arrows drain rupees just like the original game. For better or for worse. Because it adds a little to the challenge, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. Again, I wanted to get a very classic Zelda feel to this. You know, original Zelda feel. So, of course, you know, a lot of things are the same as in the original vis a vis the rules and the mechanics of the game. But no, the mechanics change a little as you get on. I actually, I think I said this before, you use items in ways you wouldn't have used them before in very unconventional ways. Which I think is fun because, you know, you can't just rely on the same old bag of tricks to get whoops, get yourself through the game. You actually have to start thinking of thinking in different ways. And you think, okay, once I've used a game mechanic once, maybe I might use it again. And of course, I'm going to. So, if you if you've used an unusual game mechanic, used an item for something it wouldn't normally be used for in other Zelda games before, and you're in a position where the traditional stuff doesn't seem to be working for you, maybe one of those unconventional things from before is the trick. You know, I mean, some people couldn't really make that connection when they were playing this, and I'm thinking, well, you know, if I did something weird before, don't you think it stands to reason I'm going to do it again? Because, you know... Why introduce some bizarre gameplay mechanic if it's not going to be used ever again? You know, okay, it's a one-trick pony. I'm actually doing much better this time. Like, I'm not dead yet. Four minutes and 37 seconds. Okay, I'm almost halfway through my time and not doing too badly. Okay, this is where it all went to crap is going after this key. Yeah, by the way, we're going after a key. I know I didn't tell you that, but that's what we're doing. Key and a map. Yeah, there! Son of a bee! Stupid kickback. 
What is this, Castlevania? The Castlevania with the ridiculous kickback. There are a few games like that, though, I feel, on the NES. Absurd kickback. Map, and now we'll get our friendly little key. A happy key. I'm gonna go get some happy keys. Why am I waiting for you to come to me? I have a sword beam. I can just shoot at you. And I'm not going all the way in the room because I don't have my magic shield, which means I have no defense against those fireballs. Other than, yo, run and hide. Okay, run and hide it is. I got my key. That's all I need. I don't need to kill all of you. But I got my key. Now we're going to go on to the boss. Well, this is going much, much better than last time. And I probably cursed myself by saying that. I'm probably going to die in some stupe stupid and spectacular new way now. Two are not mutually exclusive, by the way. Well, I kill them all. I don't need to. But I do need to kill them all here, because the shutters will not open until I kill you! Wow. Yeah, I'm doing much better. At this point, I was already dead. Hey, work. There you go. You know what's taking all the time? All these darn rooms and enemies and stuff. You know? I just had a straight shot to the boss without any baddies in the way. I, I could I could cut my time way down. The great thing about these particular wall masters is even if they take you back to the beginning, you're only you should have a straight shot up here. You know, to the boss. So it's not like you have a long ways to go. Later on in the game, they're gonna be a much bigger pain in the butt. And they might not be the only thing that takes you back to the beginning. Just a warning. Okay, there we go. Sess, no deaths, full life, 50 rupees in the pa in the satchel and purse, whatever the hell you call it. And I had more rupees when I finished on the last time around, so... Yay. Whoa, whoa! Forgot to switch the boomerang there. I'm gonna kill you because I can. See, I can kill him, so I did. Okay, and... I think I know where I can get some rupees. I believe in the next screen over to the right, to the east, whatever you want to call it, is a bush for rupees. I couldn't remember before whether it was rupees or a heart container, but I think it's rupees. And if it's a heart container, that that's good too. Always use more heart containers, because one more heart container means I can get the white sword. And kill these guys with one hit. Clear the screen, guys. Ooh, no. Ah, well, good thing the fairy right up there. Okay, yeah, it's rupees. Ah, I thought it so. so. Now I can get a shield. Fill up my life. And I'm running low on time, so this can be a little hiccup coming up soon. Hopefully, I'll keep an eye on the clock so I don't get halfway through the game and be like, oh, feces, I forgot to keep recording. I know, I'm just letting myself get hit because I want my shield. You know, I think there's something to burn here. Like me, if I don't switch back to my boomerang. Well, that sure was nice see you, Mr. Moblin. Thanks for dropping that there. 10 rupees and not by heart. Oh, you're all so friendly and furry. I assume you're furry, because monsters are furry. Oh, that's right, I already used it on the screen. Unintentionally. Nope, not there. Okay, maybe it's... Nope, not close enough. That won't trigger anything. Oh, I'm running out of time. Get closer, dumbass. Get closer. Huh. Time's running out in the clock. Here we go. Okay. That wind 
triggered, even if I had gotten, even if it was there. I could have sworn I had something here. Okay, maybe I'm just stupid. Okay, well, nothing there. Back to Boomerang, so I don't accidentally roast myself. Okay. You know what? I will get my magic shield and my arrows before going to level 2. Just so I have an extra projectile on hand. I'm singing along with the movie or game or whatever the hell this thing is called. I must have dysphagia or something. I'm just mixing up my words. I think that's the right word for it, dysphagia. You think you're saying one thing, but you're actually saying something entirely different. Well, usually you don't know unless someone tells you, so I guess it's not dysphagia. But it's really frustrating. Aha! I have a magic shield! Now the fireballs can't hit me from the front as long as I'm not using my sword. Or any other item. Fun fact! I used the marriage shield in this game. But you need a lot of rupees to get it. And it's a waste in the game. Yeah, you actually buy it. Okay, actually I had to get enough rupees to buy my arrows. I don't I think they're too expensive, but I'll just collect a few just to be sure. You know, I must have enough rupees because they keep giving me rupees. If I if I what if I didn't have enough rup if I didn't have enough rupees, they wouldn't be giving me any rupees. Which means, of course, I must need rupees. I must not need rupees anymore. I'm such an optimist. La 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 Scott, you're gonna upload this on YouTube, you stupid hobo. You really shouldn't be trying to sing. Okay, yeah, why did I put away over here? Oh, that's right, to make it hard to find. Well, that was successful. I'm not gonna bother fighting you guys unless I need to. I think. Is it this guy or is this the old lady? Yeah, this is the old woman. Well, I'll activate you. But I'm not getting any potion right now. I want the arrows more than I want the potion. Okay, I believe. Okay, yeah, I know where he is now. We're on the right screen. I'm just gonna get these little buggers out of my way first. Ah. He's not so bad. Ha 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 See, I put it behind a bomb wall. Oh, it's only 20? Oh, heck. Heck yeah. Oh, I only need, what? Six more rupees and I can get me a red potion. Why not? Why not, he said, frivolously, wasting his money. That's not a waste. Even if I don't need it now, I'll have it when I need it. And there are, don't worry, there's other places to buy potion besides here. I wasn't that cruel. <laughs> there is one place in the second overworld where you can get potion without the letter. It's a blue potion. So, you know, you have to buy two to get your red, but... You know, I wasn't entirely cruel. Of course, you know, you might die trying to get to it. Because it's up in the mountains with falling rocks. Take it! Take my money! Okay. Alrighty, let's go to level two. Wait, is there a heart container near here that I can get with my current equipment set? Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Gotta blow a whistle to get it, I believe. See, the blow a whistle I need, I need a power bracelet. Either way, can't get it now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. 
it'd just be nice because then I can get um get another get another heart container, then I can get the white sword, and I have a little more power going into level two. Which again, not the most difficult level in the game, but I like having more. I like to be able to kill them a little easier because, as previously stated, I get impatient. I want them dead because they're bad. Level two, we're going to level two. But first we're going to get ourselves filled up from the fairy. Not that kind of fairy. That's just a mean. Okay. We're all filled up, we're ready to go. And the white sword is right next to level two. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it is up one. Uh, it's right next to level two, so as soon as we finish level two, we can get our... We can get our, uh, new sword. Wooden sword. You know, who makes a sword out of wood? I mean, really. That's just silly. Okay, and we'll begin level two in the next video. Thank you for viewing.